Greetings and salutations, viewers. Today is Geekers coming to you with a retro toy review. Back in the 80s, we all knew about Transformers and G.I. Joe, GoBots, but the one toy line that I absolutely love was from a show called Mask, Mobile Armored Strike Command. And the first vehicle I ever got was, I was lucky to get it for $5 at a uh, Toys R, or not Toys R, a uh, TGNY, the speed toy ch or a shop stain, uh, shopping, like kind of like a Walmart here in the South. And I was able to get this. Brad Turner and the Condor. Now what was interesting about Mask is you had these little you had vehicles and they would turn into other vehicles. The Condor here, like I said, this was my very first one. Uh, it does have a kickstand that comes down. Um, well, let's look at the figure. The toy line for these figure, the figures for this toy line were actually really small. Um, I want to say a three quarters inch. I could be wrong. Um, but the the gimmick was that uh, the characters got these masks. Um, to show you the detail on the toy, that was that was the extent of the detail. Um, but the gimmicks was also the mask that you see here. This one was called Hocus Pocus, which could create holograms. Um, and that's how they would activate the <laughs> power in the cartoon. They would say the name of the mask and it would project something. Articulation-wise, yeah, the head can turn side to side. Uh, arms up and down, legs, and that's it. I mean, we also got figures this side for Star Command, and I forget the name of the toy line that they had these, it was, it was these toys on zip lines and stuff like that. I had one. I would love to find some of those and get them. But that was the figure. But the whole gimmick of the show was that the vehicle would turn into another uh, something else. Now this is Condor, a racing motorcycle that would transform into you can pull that down to give it a little bit more stable a little helicopter. You have the rear rotor and the top rotor and these, you know, this gives you hours of play value for the toy that it was. And this was actually really cool. They were, they were cool little toys. I have a few. Um, there's one I really love to get, and that is Matt Tracker's, I forget the name of the car, the name of it, but it was a car that turned into a jet. And what it was, it had the gold wing doors that would open up, and it, I would love to get that. Um, I've always come close to getting it, and there was also one called the Rhino, which was a semi that came with two figures, and the semi was basically a mobile command center that would open up and all that. There was, there was also the Boulder Hill playset, which was a gas station that turned into a battle station. That was pretty cool. Um, but this, you know, detail-wise... It was a small little figure that, you know, you had to use your imagination. Some of the bigger ones had uh, firing weapons or button-activated gimmicks, but this is one of the few that had, you just had a small little gimmick, like so. And this is a cool little figure. I love it. it it's, 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 it was one of those little toy lines that just was really awesome for its time. Um, I do know that Mac Tracker got a special G.I. Joe figure at one time, uh, and yeah, but that is Bruce Turner with the Condor motorcycle from Mask, and I will see you all next time.